next on the list here we have cut C of the Los Angeles Times. Julia Fox and Kanye West are no more. Boo hoo! Are we surprised? No. Do we care? No. Why do I care? I don't know. I don't actually care. I don't. Legitimately, one of the saddest consequences, no, one of the one of the negative consequences to come off the back of the pandemic has been my kind of attachment to my smartphone, my attachment to gossip, and my attachment to nonsense news. We've had nothing to do at home. We were reading books, or some of us are, watching movies, reading, watching TV shows, reality TV, dramas, whatever, and just on social media 24-7. So I'm seeing way more stuff than I would usually see in any given day when it comes to these celebrities' lives. If this was pre-pandemic, I'd have no idea who Julia Fox was. Really. No idea apart from, oh, that's that girl from Uncut Gems. But as soon as the pandemic hits and we're all locked indoors and we're all on our phones for a prolonged period of time, nowhere to go, nothing to do, suddenly I have now care about these things or I'm now involved in these things. Don't get me wrong. I do think they're a welcome distraction, similar to the whole, you know, comedy store, LA comedy scene, stuff that I cover on my podcast sometimes. It's a welcome distraction when all the news is toxic and nonsense and you know uh negative and dreary and just do doom laden it's nice to just look at these other people who are meant to be rich and famous and see what kind of mess they're getting up to on a daily basis because usually it's far more entertaining than these scripted shows that you watch but at the heart of it really the sad thing about it is that these are people going through real situations but it's turned into some sort of entertainment spectacle for us because our objective reality is so bleak that we are actually getting some weird macabre joy out of seeing others fall flat on their face and i feel like a lot of this is what's happening with julia fox now i see a lot of people on the timeline reveling in the fact that she's broken up with kanye reveling in the fact that she was supposed to be pictured going to the airport crying reveling in her looking a bit mad in that shoot she did with the cut i might have it here actually yeah, look, she's, she did a, a little kind of, you know, op-ed interview thing with the cut. Pictures t- taken by the great Jürgen Teller, who always seems to flip it, upset people on social media. And people are kind of having, you know, spasms online about her looking very uh, interesting and avant-garde and whatnot. And just having very mean things to say about her. Ironically enough, the people saying the meanest things about her are women. As I've always said in this podcast, the enemy of the enemy of all women isn't men, it's other women. And they are absolutely destroying her online because she looks a bit, you know, a little bit nuts in these pictures and whatnot. They're saying her bones are protruding too much to her chest. Like crazy that I would have never noticed. Women women picking at other women. But I feel like the lack of humanity that's happening nowadays is mostly due to the fact that everyday people are going through such tough times. They're having to face up with such dark realities that they get a little bit of joy out of seeing celebrities who are people who have been put on a pedestal having their life also somewhat uh put into some level of turmoil because there's no denying julia fox went from being a flipping princess to suddenly being on the lowest of the lows it feels like online i don't know what's happened to her personally but then on the back of this then she's got a beef not happy with azalea banks i just un non-stop drama like non-stop drama but you would hope there'd be some level of kind of um, some level of kind of maturity, grown upness. Like, hey, this is an obviously interesting time. I'm moving on my life. Da da da. But instead, it's competty. She's talking about writing a book. She's talking about she's come up. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I have nothing interesting to say in the situation. I have nothing really interesting to add to it. I just wanted to comment on it because I commented it before on my channel. Um, I think it's nonsense leave them alone, let her grieve or not grieve or get over it or not get over it, however she wants to get over it and just let people get on with their lives, isn't it? I don't know what else to say, really. Really don't know what to say. I just feel like it's a bit mad when I see people online legitimately excited and happy that she's not going out with Kanye West anymore. It's like, what? Do you want him to go out with you or are you just jealous that it wasn't you? Like, I don't know. Like, Or are you just jealous of her in general? Or you don't rate her, or you think because she's white. I don't know what's honestly the meanest online has been so weird because I never really knew of Julia Fox's social media presence presence before she hooked up with Kanye anyway. 
then suddenly people have a, an opinion about her and they want to basically write her off or put in a certain category. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just nonsense, really. So, yeah, let's move on.